Good evening. This is the Reverend Laura Strauss of Sunset Hills United Presbyterian Church with our devotion for Wednesday, August 5th, 2020. This has been a season of difficult decisions. We started making difficult decisions way back in March, and we continued to make difficult decisions through April, May, June. Decisions about what we will do with our groceries. Will we go to the grocery store? Or will we learn how to have our groceries delivered? Will we wash our groceries or put them away? Are we going to wear gloves to the grocery store? All those decisions that you know about, that you've had to deal with over these last few months. And that's just the, the tip of the proverbial iceberg, isn't it? There have been so many other decisions that we all have had to make in our personal, professional, and family lives. And friends, I invite you this day to lift up in prayer all those who are in authority that need to make decisions. I know we don't always agree with the decisions that authorities come to. I know I've had my share of critiques of those who have made decisions on behalf of our nation, our state, our communities, our schools, and so on and so forth, etc., etc., etc. And yet I give thanks that those people whose decisions I may not have agreed with, that they worked their tails off to come to those decisions. Oh, I do not envy our president or the cabinet. I do not envy Governor Wolf or, or those who are working in our state. I do not envy those in Allegheny County's health department. I don't envy the Mount Lebanon school board or Bethel Park school board or any of our school boards. I don't envy any of them the position that they are in, for they are seeking to serve and to do their best by those whom they are serving. And whatever decision they find to be the most wise, the best of the worst in these times, well, there's going to be people that disagree wholeheartedly, and there are going to be people who are angry. We get to make the choice to show grace, to show grace to People who are in authority making difficult decisions for the health and safety and care of, well, people, us. I would invite you to hear these words from 1 Timothy chapter 2. Paul is writing to Timothy, this 16-year-old pastor, this kid who's pastoring a church, a church in conflict at that. And he writes, first of all, then, I urge that supplications prayers, intercessions, and thanksgiving be made for all people, all people, for kings and all who are in high positions, that we may lead a peaceful and quiet life, godly and dignified in every way. Friends, I invite us to pray tonight. Pray for those who are in authority, our government, absolutely. Pray for those who are in authority in our church, our church session. Pray for those who are in authority in our community, who are making decisions at our local businesses about how to run their businesses well and in a safe way. Pray for the parents as they are in authority over their children, making supremely difficult and dare I say impossible decisions about their children's education. Pray for our teachers who are also in authority and who are also making difficult decisions. There are so many for whom we need to pray, for whom we need to show grace in these difficult days. Thank you. May the peace of our Lord be upon you this day and forevermore as we go forward in the hope of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.